Hey Internet, I'm uh, Maluko, I'm a graduado of Shango Capoeira Brisbane in Australia and uh, I make uh, tabakis from scratch. Uh, I'm an engineer by trade, that's, uh, that's my day job, uh, and I love to tinker and uh, fix things. Um, you may know about my uh, tabaki work uh, through my Facebook page, also that, that, that one 30 minute video on YouTube I posted uh, years ago that somehow got 68,000 views, even though it's 35 minutes long. So I get a lot of requests, mostly from Brazil, uh, for specific details on my build techniques. Um, so I thought about making video series on how I make my drums. Um, I will show what I can. Uh, it's not the only way, it's just my way. I'm very far from knowing all there is to know. I'm always learning new things. So I'll start with a fair warning, you know, don't start building your own drum if you're not prepared to put some proper work into it. You can't expect to get a few random measurements and then it will magically fit together. Uh, I'm taking the time to share some of my mistakes and we'll learn from them, but be ready to make mistakes too. Uh, the learning experience is truly amazing. Now, where do I get my limited knowledge from? Um, some people say I learned what I know from YouTube, uh, and I want to clarify this point. Uh, no, I, I didn't. Uh, YouTube helped, but what YouTube showed me back in 2012 is just the starting point. I gave me about 20% of what I needed to know. Uh, no one taught me. Uh, it's research, trial, error, more research. Uh, believe me, there is um, a lot of uh, errors, lots of mistakes to be made. And even though we're in the age of uh, mass information access, uh, you can only find very little uh, information uh, on how to make a back is, uh, especially if uh, you're not in Brazil. Um, now, to be fair, there are some YouTube resources. There's one in particular that helped me, uh, most importantly, inspired me. Uh, it's from a very skilled Brazilian conga maker. It no longer uh, operates, but uh, even though this video is really good, nothing is said in there about the, the shape and design, uh, the dimensions, uh, wood selection, metal work, rope work, height processing, finishing, tools, jigs, etc. Um, there is also a tutorial on instructables.com uh, that I made use of, but that one, even though it's quite good, it's very, very incomplete. It also has a severe design flaw. It took me years to actually identify and fix. Uh, so I had to come up with answers for all these issues. Now, um, this first drum that I have here, uh, this one took me about nine months to build. Uh, including research, trialing things, and it's nine months with a lot more reading, drawing, measuring, calculating, imagining, uh, than actually building anything. So I somehow got lucky with a lot of decisions and outcomes on that first one. Uh, but since then, I've learned a lot. Second one I made didn't go as well at all. Uh, I tried too many new things at once. I tried different wood, less staves, uh, different rope work, etc. In the end, it still worked, uh, but at first it was not gonna go regret. Um, the first thematic I made, uh, it was uh, made with uh, only uh, one major power tool that I'm gonna show you right now. Um, it is... This. So, this is my trusty uh, Makita uh, handheld circular saw. Uh, that's all I had to cut all the staves that I used to make uh, this guy here. So you don't actually need that many tools. I will spoke, I'll talk about that a bit more into detail. Uh, so I use this and, uh, and a drill, but that's about it. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, videos that I've seen out there where uh, tabaki makers, they don't even use power tools at all. Uh, they only use uh, uh, handheld tools, uh, including uh, something like this. I'm going to show you wood planner over like this okay um, so this is a, a standard wood plane uh, and you can use this to form uh, the staves as well to finish the the, uh, the shape uh, it's very precise um, that's the way that coopers uh, make barrels as well. They use a, they use a draw knife uh, and they're just their eye and exceptional skill. Now that takes a lot, a long time. So it's too time consuming for me. So I, I didn't go uh, down that route. Um, now, I really never imagined I would build more than 10 drums when I started. I mean, this is down to my 12th, 13th one. Uh, and I started because I wanted one of my own. I wanted my own drum. Uh, bring one from Brazil is, is too complicated. You can buy them cheaper from renowned makers even. But getting them in the country can be really tricky. 
Uh, customs here, they don't like hairy hides, they don't like exotic wood. I heard of drums being taken apart, broken. Uh, I, I didn't want that. Uh, so, and that because I'm a bit crazy as well. I like a good challenge. I started building my own drum. And someone saw it, asked me to build one for them too. And that's how it started. Um, since then, I've been trying new things, researching, documenting, refining each step, optimizing as a good engineer should do. Uh, in this video series, I want to explain the process step by step in strict order because there's already a video on this. This time, I'll be detailing some specific areas of uh, tabaki making, some that are never really explored, explained, or even documented by anyone until now. Um, I'm doing so, I'm hoping to fill some knowledge gaps and get uh, feedback to improve further. Again, I don't pretend to know everything. Maybe some people will reach out to me saying, hey, there's better ways to do that. Excellent, I want to know that, it's amazing. And that'll be an opportunity to learn uh, some more. Um, so again, this is my take on the various issues and it's by no means definite, complete or fit for purpose, so use at your own risk. Most importantly, I had, and I'm still having a lot of fun doing this. Uh, this should be fun, exciting for you too. The, the feeling you get um, when your drum gets the soul, when you put the skin on and it starts resonating with a beat sound, like a heartbeat, it's, it's incredible, uh, it's, uh, it's an amazing feeling. Um, if you want to make your own drum, I invite you to get as much information as you need. Uh, one of the most valuable resources I found more for inspiration uh, than directly applicable information was coopering videos. As I mentioned before, barrel making. Uh, that was a turning point in instrument making that transformed uh, just hollow logs really into modern instruments that led to uh, congas. Um, now back to the topic at hand. Now in this video series, uh, some key areas I'll be making a, a video uh, in this series and those are as follows. So we're going to talk about wood, uh, wood selection especially is a key component. Now we're going to talk about math, figures, numbers, get a calculator, um, jigs, the jigs that I made and I used, uh, all the cutting tricks, bending, can you bend wood without breaking, finishing the shell, what products I use, skin preparation before you put it on the drum, all the heading and roping, the rope work that I use, um, base making, should it be made of metal and wood, what's the pros and cons, uh, all the metal work and there's a lot and no one ever talks about that, and high processing which is a part I'm still uh, doing some research on. Now these videos will be edited uh, very simply, uh, I won't spend too much time editing them. My objective here is to share some good information and I think my time is better spent building things uh, rather than uh, editing videos. Um, I'll also share my Patreon page if anyone wants to encourage my work. I really appreciate the support. So stay tuned and we'll talk a bit more about uh, wood selection and uh, uh, see you soon.